these um, harmful and and uh, maybe even violent uh, towards someone, where religion and political power live together. Name one religion. Can we name five religions? Have a hierarchy. Have a power base. Uh, are are putting someone someone is number one and someone is number two. It's I don't know of an option that it doesn't um, hurt someone. And that someone is always women. And that is the second thing I've come here to say. One is that I think it's inherent to religion, and I say this as a religious person. There is always number one and number two. And the second is that number two is always women. And that the business of control and power, and the power base, is always gender built, always gender based, and is always trying to control women's bodies, women's sexuality, women's rights, women's presence in the public sphere, women's presence at home. What happens when we use our religious tradition to justify appalling acts? What are we to do? as we live in a society in which not only modern fundamentalisms, as described so beautifully by Tomé, but ancient and medieval sources of our tradition are used in order to justify heinous acts. How are we to respond? I offer you one possible example of how one might respond. The example I want to provide is that of Abraham Joshua Heschel. We must not regard any human institution or object as being an end in itself. Man's achievements in this world are but attempts. And a temple that comes to mean more than a reminder of the living God is an abomination. A temple, an institution, a mindset, an ideology that comes to mean more than the image of God is idolatry, is an abomination. To act in the spirit of religion is to unite what lies apart. To remember that humanity as a whole is God's beloved child. To act in the spirit of race is to sunder, to slash, to dismember the flesh of living humanity. Racism is worse than idolatry. Racism is Satanism, unmitigated evil. You cannot worship God and at the same time look at man, look at the man as if he were a horse. We worry more about the purity of dogma than about the integrity of love.